Welcome to the October edition of my Creative Corner 3's vlog. My name is Vicki. This week I've been working really hard on Krista Watson's grid work from the book Peace and Quilt with Precut. Now what I want to say is that I took it off the frame. It's all quilted. The binding is on and I do the traditional bind by machine on the front, flip it over, and then hand stitch it to the back. I have gotten better. I don't want to say I've mastered, ooh, wild curl there, the mitered corner, but I'm getting better. I look back at quilts that I made a couple years ago and my bindings were not good, and I'm leaving them as uh, mementos or museum pieces to where I was at at the time. But these I'm really proud of because they're getting better. They're not perfect, but they're better. But the biggest news is that this is week four of the Peace and Quilt blog hop on my WordPress page, my Creative Corner 3.wordpress. And on that page, we are doing a giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, in the description below will be the actual site the post on my blog and you can, all you have to do is leave a comment make sure I have access to an email through your avatar or leaving it on the comment or you can make a comment on the post about the giveaway on my Instagram page what is going to be given away you ask well you have an opportunity of winning a digital copy of this book an ebook if you live anywhere in the world Martingale Press has been so generous in giving all of the blog hoppers, me and Kristen and Holly Ann, a chance to give one of these books away. The other thing you could win is a charm pack. I cut it myself from the scraps left from making grid work. So you could win a charm pack if you live in the United States. And if you live in the U.S. and you win the book, you could get a physical copy of the book, a printed copy, or an international winner could get an ebook. So I'm going to be doing the drawing on the 23rd. I had to think about it, the 23rd. So if you're interested in the book for the patterns behind me, or if you would like to try some of the beautiful Modern Marks fabric, these bright ones here, then go ahead and go to my page. Let me show you what I've been working on. First and foremost, I have been working on grid work. Look at the sun is coming through the window. We finally got a good day and the right time of day where I have time. You can see that stitching that I did on my long arm with these deliciously fun prints. Let's get a wider angle. Yeah, I love those fabrics, don't you? This yellow is fabulous. So you can tell I chose the lightest color for the binding. I mitered the corner and I'm hoping that when I flip this puppy over, Oh, what is that? A burnt ironing board cover. I need to buy another one. So what's the key to this defined stitching? I have to say it's all in the batting. Can you see here? I have two battings, double bat, Hobbs, the batting company sent me when I asked them some questions about what should be used in a quilt that's going to be a sample or something in a show. They said you should use wool batting or wool blend. This is a wool cotton blend double bat because your stitches will show up more and they could not have been more correct. Of course, they're the experts. And on the floor, you can see I partially sewed a label, which I never put labels on my quilts unless they're going out and look at this blue. It's gorgeous. Krista Watson, designer extraordinaire. She also wrote the book that we will look at. 
So what do you see here? Let's look up these blacks. Just a second. I've got to edit that out. <laughs> so these, this is a, most of her quilts are one black quilt in the book. These are leftover pieces from this one. Ah, squiggles in gray. And her star. I sized down this one called Frequency. And I sized down this one called Dot and Dash. And this one is Windows. So you can see I have only two more left in her book called Kites and Arrows. And if all goes well and the creek don't rise, I will have that done by next week on the Monday of the final post. Well, let me get myself situated here. Look at what I did here. This is my variation of grid works. And you can see I use solid fabrics in some of them, solid reading fabrics here. I have to say, this is Moda, no, this is Bern, Bernatex Modern Marks by Krista Watson. This is a solid red. This is grunge. Do you see how well Modern Marks plays with other fabrics? And I wanted to do my little spin on this. So I made a mini, mini grid work block and I put it inside a bigger block. Well, why does it have the strip underneath when grid work was like this with no strip? My math was incorrect, so I added a strip, and guess what? It made a fun design element. I really like it with the strip on it like that, too. Just mixes it up. The other thing I did to add interest and more quilting space, because I am a quilt person, I love free motion quilting, is I put just some solid squares in there from, not solid, but unpieced squares from the Modern Marks line. And I love it. Currently, it's four by four. I'm going to try to get another row done for the top. Ugh. Modern Marks is really versatile. And I love how even when it's small, you don't lose the integrity of the print. So let's see what's behind me. The potential winner could get a ebook or a physical copy of Krista Watson's book. And look at this binding I have left over. I made a little extra to go on some of the mini quilts that are going to be made on the wall behind me. I'm on a mini quilt thing. I don't have very many of them and I'm going to make a whole wall. Now while the sun is shining, let's just flip through a couple of these charm packs. I cut this myself, so I did as best as I could with a, you know, as you would, <laughs> you know, a die cut machine would probably be 100% accurate, but look, those colors, and let's see if I can get this purple one to turn over. Oh, just gorgeous. The oranges are great. The red is just my favorite true red, and that green that flipped on by. So there is, there's about 30 pieces in here. I cut a couple of them twice because I fussy cut some of the reds. The one with that 1950s motif, I tried to cut them in different parts so it gave, you'd have more to work with if you won this charm pack. Now you could make a mini grid work with the five inch charm, or you could use this as the center of grid work, which is in the book, and you can do all kinds of wonderful things. And even a couple of two and a half inch mini charms are here. You can do so much with this fabric. Let me tell you, no scrap is going to waste. So for my part also, I have been practicing pattern writing and these are not finished. My postcards is a free pattern. It is made with a fusible double-sided foam for purses that Pellon makes. And I used the 
Selvages from Modern Marks. With Krista Watson's name. Improv piece. Flip it over. You fuse it. Now I have a serger that I bought at a yard sale. So I'm going to practice, practice, practice on using it and serge all the ends. But look at you just don't let any scrap go to waste. Or if you made a block the wrong size, you can cut it down. This is from my Tulip Pink City Sampler. I trimmed it down to the wrong size. No waste when it's going on a postcard. Oh, look at here's another element that I messed up on in another block. But it looks fantastic in a postcard. If you've never written a postcard out, you need to make sure you have the note on the left. And on this side would be the name, address, and proper form of the person who's getting it. And you can stamp these and mail them. Just make sure you check out the rules of your postal system. I also don't add a lot of embellishment on the top because I don't want it to catch inside of a postal machine. So if you're interested in my free pattern, you can go to my creative corner 3wordpresscom and it will be under the tutorials and free pattern. Now, the other thing is I'm really looking at people uh, signing up for my newsletter because I'm going to be doing more patterns, some free, some will be for sale in a couple of months and you'll be the first to know about events, funny stories, maybe a recipe for some of my antique family recipes from a mid-century cookbook. I find them hilarious and I think we could have a lot of fun with sharing of those. So if you're interested, newsletter, it's on the website also. So I'm signing off for this vlog. Next time I do a vlog, I do want to show you some of my Halloween decorations and the pumpkin that I started to tangle a funkin it's still not done and I want to get that done before Halloween and show you a couple of things that I like to get out every year I even have a couple of some of my first quilts that were fall themed that we'll do a little show and tell on and I can show you some of those ancient bindings that I did that were really not very good but you know what they're part of my history and they're part of the history of quilting and quite honestly, they're utility quilts. No one else ever looks at those bindings but me. So everyone have a phenomenal week. And I will talk to you next time. Quilt on.